Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a look at the Jeff Staple collab with Crocs. These are known as the Sidewalk Lux Classic Vlog. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a, another Jeff Staple collab. I wasn't able to cop these on the first time around that they released, but I was able to snag a pair on the restocks are really super hyped to go through the overview of these to jump into size and fit and then followed by how I style this really fun quirky clog then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market so when I first saw images of these these looked so crazy but it is so representative of Jeff Staple and his brand so this completely makes sense I just can't believe the size on the gibbets so this is literally meant to look like the aesthetic of what a New York sidewalk would look like, which is why it's called sidewalk luck. So if you are somebody like myself who lives in New York City, you can definitely relate to what you've seen on the streets. It definitely has a very nitty and gritty feel here in New York. So this is definitely something I feel like is displayed quite nicely on these Crocs. So starting with the gibbets that I decided to use, uh, definitely had to go with the pigeon feet. These are so massive. This is probably honestly one of the biggest gibbets I think I've ever seen for a Croc. They are quite large and it fills up almost the entirety of the upper. We've got this nice piece of gum, which is a pretty common item you'd see on the streets as well as a coffee cup from your local bodega. And then what is New York without a rat or mice or a mouse? Uh, and this one, I've never seen an alligator eating a pizza slice, but pizza is definitely something reminiscent of New York. The items or gibbets, I guess you could say I decided not to use, <laughs> well, are the cockroach. Definitely freak out when I see roaches running and scrambling around. We do have another little pigeon here. I thought that I had already kind of pigeoned it out uh, with the feet. And then for the last gibbet, you've got a pair of matches. The only thing is, is because I have a smaller size, you can only fit so many gibbets on this, but it is just so quirky and cool how many gibbets Jeff decided to go with for this croc collaboration. And as far as the overall color scheme of this, it is kind of that nice cement colored texture look that you see throughout. And uh, we just have a nice heather gray for the bottom portion of the outsole of this. So let's take a look at those last and final details.
As far as the bag goes, you do get just a nice simplistic plastic bag. We've got just the staple Crocs on here and it's just in a nice splatter mark in clear and white. So now let's talk about sizing. So again, I went with my size range of a size six, but I think I probably discussed how I'm going to be going probably a full size up from that just to have some extra space to be able to wear this in sports mode. Uh, so if you do have harsh narrow feet like myself, I recommend going just a half size down on these. If you have flatter, wider feet, then this could differentiate a size range that works opposite from my own. All right, so now let's talk about how I style this really cool color combination. Just a lot going on here. I had to definitely use something that I have received from Jeff Staple, which was my Hello Kitty uh, shirt, which has a pigeon with it. It is in the perfect color combination of red, white, and gray and black, which I think just accented the clogs quite nicely. For the bottoms, I decided to just wear some nice gray pants, and then I wore a graphic button-down tee in white and black. to wear a collared t-shirt and a green and white striped color combination with some bell-bottom green pants. And then for the last and final look, I decided to wear an abstract multicolor shirt with some leather shorts. I think that leather and black goes great with these. And then I decided to wear a denim Balenciaga jacket for a layering option. Too many noises, clutch the choices, future came and left like ours. Let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these? Stay for a while, they try to ball, I hold it down I'm playing 
Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $70 and depending on your size, these are going a little bit below retail to $100. All right, everyone, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV, and my name is Marissa. We'll catch you all next episode. Of attention. I know you get the message and the way I focus where the lens is. Custom made for me the metrics. Show you fit right in the schedule and girl, you fit like